Hey guys, this is Mark from Trade Pro Academy, and in this weekend's video, we're gonna discuss what the best time frame for swing trading is. So grab a cup of coffee, a pen, and a notepad, and let's get at it. So one of the questions we get quite often is, what time frame should I be using for swing trading? Now, before we can answer that, what we wanna identify first is what a swing trader actually is. So to answer that question, what is a swing trader? Well, a swing trader is basically a trader that is looking to hold positions anywhere between one to four days up to, we'll call it two weeks. All right. Now, because a swing trader is looking to hold a position between one to four days up to two weeks, what that means is most swing traders are technical focused. They're based on technical analysis. Majority of their trading decisions, their trading strategy is based on technicals. Uh, now the reason for this is because the time frame, the duration of the trades they're looking to take are generally on the shorter front. So what swing traders will often do is they will look for overbought or oversold conditions within a trending market and they will look to capitalize on the extreme reaction from the market. All right, so in the case where there is an overbought market, swing traders will often look to sell the market short until the market comes back into regular conditions. Same thing with oversold patterns. If the market is oversold, what a swing trader will do is often look to pick that up, look to buy it in oversold conditions until the market returns back to regular conditions. All right, now as a result of that, because the time frame of the trades is one to four days and it's based on technical analysis, swing traders will usually put about two hours or so of screen time on a daily basis. All right, so now that we know what a swing trader is, a swing trader is somebody that focuses on technical analysis. They look to buy oversold conditions and they look to sell overbought conditions and doing so means that they'll be putting in around two hours a day of screen time. This is either entering new orders once your price level gets hit or it's managing existing orders and managing the portfolio risk. All right, so now that we've identified what a swing trader is, let's talk about the actual time frames that a swing trader would look at in order to qualify those opportunities and throw in trades. All right, so what a swing trader will look for, essentially the starting grounds, is usually the daily time frame. The daily time frame is very important whether you are a position trader, whether you're a swing trader, uh, or whether you're a day trader. Most people start with the one day time frame, which is great. But being a swing trader, looking at the daily time frame isn't enough. The daily time frame will help you ascertain good levels of support and resistance, as well as overbought, oversold conditions. However, what we wanna do is we wanna look a little bit deeper into the intraday trend, and what that would result in is a four hour chart. All right, so the four hour chart is the more popular intraday version of the day chart, right? So a uh, one day with currencies, with futures, you usually have 24 hours in, this, in the day, in the session. And if you break that up into four hour increments, that is six hours of price action per bar. So on a daily 24 hour period, you're gonna have six candles. So where you have one candlestick on a daily chart, on a four hour chart, you're going to see six candles worth one day's price action. And so this is where swing traders tend to spend a majority of their time to identify levels on the one day time frame and then to drop down on the four hour to identify overbought or oversold conditions within the overall trend on the daily time frame. You can take this a step further, and this is what a majority of successful traders do. They like to use multiple time frame analysis. So back to this, on the daily time frame, this is where the swing trader will get their key higher time frame levels. Then the swing trader will drop down into the four hour time frame. 
From here, they'll be getting six bars per day. And from this, you can basically drop down one more time frame into the one hour time frame. All right, so this one is gonna have 24 hours. This is gonna be 24 bars for a day. All right, so this, if you're going to be a swing trader, this is the time frame sequence, the multiple time frame analysis that a majority of swing traders will use. They will start off on the daily time frame, and this is to identify the overall trend, the direction, and key levels of support and resistance. The four hour time frame is used to identify and refine those daily support and resistance levels. And then the one hour time frame is your execution time frame. This is a time frame where you're looking in the most granular part of the analysis from the daily chart down to the four hour chart. And on the one hour chart, this is where you execute. All right, so you get your trend direction and support and resistance levels from here. You wait for patterns, candlestick patterns, rejection patterns, etc., on the four hour time frame, and then you look to execute on the one hour time frame. So that is the order of sequence for the best time frames for swing trading. That is the secret. There is no single best time frame. The real way to do this, the real way to succeed with swing trading is to utilize multiple time frame analysis. Start on the daily chart, get your support and resistance levels and identify the trend. On the four hour chart, make sure that the intraday price action is confirming what the daily is showing you. So if the daily shows a bullish reversal, your intraday four hour chart should also have bullish price action, higher lows, higher highs, etc. On the one hour time frame, you're essentially looking for the same thing. So let's say you've got a bullish reversal on a daily chart. On the four hour chart, you want to see a market structure break to the upside, confirming that. And on the one hour time frame, you're just going to look for pullbacks into support on the four hour time frame in order to execute your trades. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to comment and make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified anytime that we go live. So until next time, good luck and good trading. Take care guys.